In this video, we're going to look at downloading the Avidimux software and installing it. So you'll need to make sure you know your operating system uh, if you don't already, and then you can go to the Avidimux link that I'm actually putting in the uh, directions of the video as well as they're in a presentation. Um, and from, uh, from the Avidimux site, you're going to scroll down and find your operating system. So mine is um, a Windows, it's a 64-bit uh, with Windows, and so I'm going to click on the FOSS Hub, and you don't realize it, it brings you to this list that has a bunch of stuff, but it's actually already downloaded. Um, so if yours doesn't pop up like mine does, it's probably in your downloads folder. So click on um, once you have it. Uh, the video is downloaded, and it's a very quick download. You can then click on um, the link and then just choose to run. Again, you may have to go find it, um, find the program in your um, in your downloads folder. So I'm just going to go through this and follow with next and agree to the licensing. And I'm just doing the standard thing, and then choose. You can choose if you want to where you want to put the shortcuts. And I'm going to go ahead and leave them um, like they're checked. Um, I'm going to leave the name the same. I'm going to leave the program where it is, and I'm just going to install. And so then, once you're done, you're going to click Finish, and it's popping up and telling me just some of the release notes. So it's actually installed now on um, on my computer, uh, and it's and it actually launched. But I also have the desktop shortcut. So this is how you install uh, the Avidimux, um on your computer. 